first thing to do after completing a primary survey is secondary survey. This is important um, as it gives a full diagnosis of our patient. Um, the first thing to look for in a uh, head to toe examination is medical bracelets. These can be found on the wrists, neck, and ankles. Um, they'll show if the patient has any allergies to medications or foods or any other allergies. Um, following this, it's important to check your patient's care. Um, at this point, we're looking all the way down to the occipital lobe from the frontal lobe for um, any bulky masses or bleeding or other abnormalities. Um, after that, checking all the bones in the face. We need to make sure that they're all intact and that there's no response to pain. Um, we then check the ears and nose for cerebrospinal fluid. It is now um, Ensure that it's straight, there's no tracheal deviation. Um, and then you feel behind the shoulders fully and check there's no blood. Following this, you can check the chest and make sure all bones are intact and that there's no um, adverse reactions to pain. There we go. Also, um, check the breathing as well. After this, we'll check the ab abdominals and we're looking for any rigidity. Um, any signs of guarding or any anything. Um, after checking the hips, it's important to check. After checking the abs, it's important to check the hips. Um, it's critical not to spring these, but to just check for symmetry and ensure that your bones are intact. Um, following this, it's important to palpate the entire length of the legs. and then check for good range of movement in the legs. I'm just going to lift your leg up now if you can help me. And a solid response to motor skills. Can you please push down on your feet? Yep. And push up. And can you wriggle your toes for me? Thank you. Um, following checking the legs, we need to then check the other extremities. This includes the arms. So we'll palpate the entire length of the arms, looking for any broken bones or other bones. Um, if none are found, we'll then check for a motor response. Can you please put your hands? Thank you. And as you can see, we maintain arm strength. Can you please hold your arm up like that? Thank you. Another one. Thank you. At this point, it's then critical to check for any other um, spinal deformities or any uh, hidden hemorrhaging. Um, this could be done by a simple local and checking under the patient.